Good morning, people of the world. Now, today is 2nd September, uh, and I'll be doing something that I've never done before. So, I'm here with my baby. That's right. And, uh, yep, my field is almost empty. Can you guess what I'll be doing today? I'll be adding additives to her. Starting her up. Alright, so I've never done this. I don't know why people do it. I know like it's supposed to help fuel. If you heard that, I really don't know why my uh, cold startup is like that where it revs, revs, revs. If you know or have any clue, please let me know because I'm o I also don't know why. But yeah, um, today I'll be adding fuel additives, the Tecron Concentrate Plus in specific to my fuel system, my petrol tank and as I understand, I'm supposed to add it when uh, it's almost empty lah ha huh? which is what's happening here lah ha huh? so luckily today, I'll be having a specialist here with me where I can ask all the questions in the world on why I should do it lah cause you know, I'm like, huh, I need to buy extra stuff to put in uh, budget bit lah, you know but apparently it's good, apparently it helps clean the fuel system and help it come maintenance, all that lah so yeah, I'll be asking him and I'll be questioning, interrogating him why. So yeah, let's go. I don't know about you guys, but I've never ever let my fuel tank go so low before. I'm always very paranoid. I'm like, oh, I have to fill up, I have to fill up, I don't push car. And I, so I really don't know my limit, why. Right? I'm just protecting the car, you know. I just feel like if there's no fuel, or it's like very like very very little left based on the gauge that I'm looking at like the petrol gauge I feel like it's it's gasping for air already so I cannot I cannot allow my baby to go through that hey guys what's up so I'm here with Baka and Baka will be the specialist today that I will be talking to because he brought me this and I've never done this to my car before interested to know what will happen and uh, yeah, now my tank is really 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 empty You guys saw the fuel gauge just now After this, we'll be refilling at Caltex Of course, right? Cause, you know, Tektron and whatever not So, he's gonna help me and demonstrate to me what I should do And what, basically what, why lah, why I should do this lah, huh? So Baka, what's the first thing that we should do now? Alright, so uh, now that we know the fuel tank is almost empty yep. So we take out the the fuel additive. Okay, why do we have to put it in when the fuel tank is empty? Uh? Well, it's like mixing uh, because you, you, you cannot put your hand inside the tank okay. to, to physically mix it. Ah. So, you have to put the... the it's like making Milo, you bantu Milo like right. that. Ah, so, so, you, you put have it to in. put the Milo first before you put the hot water. Okay, understand. Simple, simple. I also didn't know. So, I'm supposed to put the whole thing inside, is it? Yeah. Wow. We do have cases where, where customers put the petrol first and then uh, in that case, they have to just shake the car lah. Then basically, so... so like like Singaporeans lah, that one we can take from Singaporeans lah, huh? So you're gonna open the fuel tank. So it's uh, one bottle for about 45 liters. Okay, wow, 45 but, uh, liters. If you, if you fill up uh, more than 45 liters, it's okay. Okay. The hard and fast rule yep. for fuel, fuel treatment is that uh, you can over dilute, that's fine. Okay. But never under dilute because it's concentrated. Uh, do I have to shake it before hand? Not really. No, okay. Just uh, pour it inside. Okay. So all the instructions come on the box as well, right? Pour yes. one bottle in an almost empty tank, fill up remaining tank. So let's say lah, this is random question lah. Let's say I don't have fuel anymore and yeah. I have this. Can I use this as temporary fuel until I get to my next petrol station? Well, it does have solvent inside lah, but... So, uh, can lah! <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend it lah, because uh, if, it's, it's lighter than your petrol. Okay, okay, yeah, so, okay. So possible like if I am stranded on the highway, no petrol station inside <laughs> for the next 50 kilometers. Uh, can lah, right? <laughs> okay lah, I'll think that as a yes, I know he cannot say it, but... Okay. So now we are done. Okay, done. We go and fill up. Yes. Okay, then I interrogate you in the car. Okay, sure. Okay, okay. Thank you, Vaka. So that's it, guys. That easy. Okay. Alright, guys. I just finished refueling and now we're gonna. Actually, oh, we're just gonna go minum, la, drive around. Because I need to know. 
I haven't done this additive thing So Bapa is here to try and explain to me What's the purpose of putting additives in the car Okay mm. So just now we put in the additives was about uh, how, how many litres you said? Uh, just now it was about one bottle One bottle? It's about 45 litres 45 litres yeah, uh, if, you have a, if you have a bigger tank, it's, it's no problem Yep uh, Because we the main function of this fuel additive is to clean your uh, certain parts of your engine like your injector, yep. your uh, exhaust valve, yep. the combustion chamber and the piston crown. Okay, so one bottle of that is how many litres? One bottle is about 355 ml only. Okay, so 355 ml is for a fuel tank of about 45 litres. About 45, yeah. Okay. Slightly more is okay. Because okay. uh, the rule with uh, fuel treatment is that uh, you can over dilute but never, never under dilute. So it's Better to have nipis instead of cow la. Okay <laughs> Understand yep, yep. Um, So you were saying just now That we should add this Roughly how many times Because I've never done this to my car before oh, okay. um, The first time you use it You can uh, wait about 5,000 kilometers Okay uh, Before trying again Okay Because uh, again uh, We don't recommend this to, to be used Every time you fill up petrol la, Because it's, it's, it's concentrated yep. So it's, it's the job is to clean yep. If you use it too much It might just uh, cause Clean too much uh. Yeah, it's co cause corrosion <gasps> like, okay. like you're washing your clothes, right? If you wash every day Then, then sure, you get ah, skoya one okay. yeah, yes. So it's like that Understand So what, what am I supposed to feel After I add the additives into my car? Okay <laughs> uh, The idea is Once you get Clean injectors and clean combustion chamber. Yeah. The the burning of the petrol will be better. Lah. Okay. So you get more power out mm -hmm. of the out of, out of the combustion. Mm -hmm. And as a result, you should feel a uh, smoother drive. Okay. And more response. Okay. And also another uh, good thing that you can get is because most of uh, the cars right now have uh, the fuel gauge, the digital fuel gauge. Yes. And the newer cars. That one is connected to a sensor inside the fuel tank Correct So sometimes after a while you get deposits that block up the sensor Okay uh, So this treatment also helps to clean that one Okay uh, So you get a better uh, a better readout lah. So the, the computer will tell you uh, They give you uh, more mileage basically Yes, yeah. understand uh, It happened to me already because I use a uh, Hyundai Tucson Okay, so, the new uh, one lah. Yeah Beautiful car <laughs> not the real, not the really new one, the the one year, okay, one generation the, older okay. one. Uh, yeah, so Still yeah. <laughs> and after that, uh, uh, we uh, I see, I see, uh, maybe about eighty to one hundred kilometers additional. So oh really? It actually gives gives me better reading. Okay, so you're saying that I should gauge based on my driving that I should have about eighty to hundred kilometers um, better. Might like not, it, it might differ from uh, driver to driver, la, car to okay. car So how but do then, you drive? Oh, I drive I just Very drive for a city driving commute okay. And then maybe once a month I go outstation, long long distance driving but ah. So for even city driving, you can see uh, better fuel consumption That's what you're saying, is it? Yeah, the the idea is that, is that the, the, the computer mm -hmm. gives you the countdown based on the fuel sensor Yep so once you get that clean up, okay. it can give you a, a more accurate number la. Understand uh. So my full tank can go about 350 to 400 kilometers yeah. So you're saying that I might get about 10% more Some people, 10, some people they do see that Oh wow Yeah, they do see that because of the, simply because mm -hmm. that fuel gate sensor now is cleaner Okay So you get more accurate rating of the fuel level mm -hmm. and in turn that gives you better calculation Understand. So even when, like city driving, like you said, because my car I use it as a daily. Uh, I go for weekend drives as well. So it's even even in stop and go traffic that I get better fuel economy, fuel better fuel consumption better as well. Better fuel consumption. Um, it still depends on how the you're driving, okay. the car itself, the road, okay. and so on, weather, and so on. But this one helps in at least. Yeah. Uh, it helps the onboard computer to to, to calculate the correct uh, mileage left lah before okay. you have to fill up petrol again. Okay, understand. <coughs> so how is this different from all other additives out there? Oh okay. 
So uh, the one that we are using is Tektron Concentrate Plus, yes, is that correct? correct? So uh, this product yep. actually uh, for a lot of people who are already buying Caltex petrol okay. uh, and diesel, they already know the name Tektron. Yes. So uh, this is an additive yep. that is inside the fuel to yep. help clean the, the parts I mentioned before. Yes. But uh, the product we see just now is yep. the concentrated version. Okay. So it is 10 times thicker or okay. 10 times more concentrated. Okay. <laughs> and you use this uh, especially when you have, let's say, when, when your car is old and then it has some issues like maybe loss of power or maybe black smoke. Okay. So uh, you mix it in the, in the fuel tank mm -hmm. and it helps to restore some of the lost power. So would you say this is a preventive measure and to... Uh, basically lengthen the life of your petrol tank or like how does it help in the long run for my car maintenance does it actually yeah because uh by logic if your the parts of your engine are clean mm -hmm. then it can operate uh, smoother yep and uh, because of that you have the chance to extend the life longer okay so uh <coughs> Before before we come up with fuel 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 treatment, yep. uh, most of the time the dirty parts of the engine can be cleaned by the engine oil. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but problem is the engine oil cannot clean the injector, the combustion chamber, and so on because it doesn't go there. Understand. So uh, then people come up with the fuel fuel additive. Yeah. You mix it with the petrol, and then once it passes by all these parts, yeah. Before it gets burned, actually it will dilute and clean up all the carbon deposits okay. and when it's gets burned, it goes out through the exhaust gas. Okay. So, uh, <coughs> that's how it works and then it keeps the, all these parts clean. When it's clean, you get a better performance out of the engine. Ah, I see. So it does help in the long run as a sort of preventive measure so that I constantly clean my fuel tank every now and then. So can I say every time I go and service my car, I should take note to add an additive to my fuel tank? Yes, uh, that will help uh, because now you get a total cleaning. Yep. So the engine oil that you change when yep. you service your car cleans the majority of the other parts of the engine. Yep. So the fuel, fuel additive yep. will clean the four parts I mentioned before. Yes, understand. How will I feel it through my driving style besides the metal fuel consumption? Okay. Uh, you were saying more responsive, right? Yeah, so now yeah. if I did that, I should be able to go from 0 to 100 faster, right? It's like, it's like uh, some people, uh, after they use this, they report uh, better response, so okay. uh, better, better, better become. Okay. Some people feel smoother drive. Mm. <coughs> some people say uh, less noise or maybe less vibration from the engine. Okay. And uh, some people like, like myself, uh, they do see when the countdown uh, meter comes up, it, it gives you slightly more mileage. Okay. <coughs> so uh, it differs from driver to driver, but uh, bottom line is yep. it keeps the uh, top part of the engine clean, mm. the fuel system clean, mm. and then uh, as long as that is maintained, then you get good performance from the engine. So, regardless the results that we see and we feel, we should do it to our cars, lah, right? Yeah, because, just uh, to cleanse it every now and then, just yeah. take it as a detox kind of thing, flush Correct. everything out Correct. of the yeah. system. Okay, Correct. okay, understand, understand. So when I was researching this uh, Tektron Concentrate Plus, am I right to say that? Yes, correct. There's this strict bond promo going on. Okay. Yeah, what, what, what's that about? Uh? Sorry, uh, I really, <laughs> I, I read a bit that I like, I a lot of words. Might as well just ask you. Right, so the uh, strict bond promotion was uh, initially uh, launched last year and, okay. and it had very good response from uh, from the consumers so Caltech decided to bring it again this year uh, basically uh, the, the the promotion is in special packs so the products will become in special packs and it comes with special uh, merchandise so yep. basically uh, because the idea of the products is to give motorists the power to take on the streets oh, so yeah. uh, all of this <laughs> Items are all, all of the promo items are basically street inspired accessories okay. that pairs nicely with the products themselves. 
I know they're telling you and they're giving all the power to you, but <laughs> please do it safely lah, huh? Okay yeah. guys, and how long is this promo for? Oh, uh, it's until 31st September. On, on, until the, wow, that's until end of this, this month only eh. So yeah, <laughs> guys, it's until 30th September, so I have very few days to get the video out ah. Huh? So this video is brought to you by Complex Lubricants. Obviously, it's a paid and sponsored content. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But I think it's very informative as well because I personally never knew anything about additives. Um, this is really my first time because to me, I'm always like doing the minimum because I don't want to spend more. <laughs> I just make sure that my car is mechanically okay. I fuel up when needed. But when I have a bit of money to spend, I should pamper my car also. Lah, right? yeah. Do you do it to your car? Yeah, I do. Um, Orange, yeah. Wow. The, one of the good things is that um, the fuel fuel additive yeah. uh, from from Caltex number one because it's already proven in the fuel itself. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I actually heard very good things about Caltex fuel. Yeah. So like everyone loves Caltex fuel. Yeah, because uh, because of the of that additive, it, cleans, it slowly cleans up the the all the injectors and, and so on. Okay. So uh, you get more power out of your engine basically. Okay. So uh, this product is just. The similar uh, additive that yeah. you have inside the petrol, but okay. it is concentrated, so it is proven. Mm. And number two, the more important thing is that any fuel additive, yeah. you need to make sure it mixes well with the fuel. So how do I make sure that it mixes well? Should I kasi rest it or or how? Uh? Like what we did just now was that before when your tank uh, is almost okay. empty, yeah. put one bottle of the uh, Tecron concentrate, yeah. and then you fill up with petrol. Okay. Uh, <coughs> And we already designed mm -hmm. that additive so that when it comes into contact with the petrol, it will mix evenly. Okay. So uh, we don't want the treatment, the, the additive to be on the bottom and the fuel on the top. Then it would be then it wouldn't work lah. Okay. It wouldn't clean up. Okay. Uh, so that's that's the other uh, good thing about Caltex the Crown is because. We make the fuel, mm -hmm. so we know that the fuel additive can mix well with the petrol itself. Okay, so when you say that, then my next question would be, let's say I use another petrol brand, yep. will it still jive and mix properly? Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Yes, we can. Okay, uh, so in, we... In fact, okay. Yeah, in fact, this product is, is targeted for... Because um, sometimes you might not be able to find any Caltech stations nearby, yes. you're on a long drive, you're outside of KL or something. Yes. And uh, so sometimes people have to buy different types of petrol, right. of maybe maybe even from the uh, kampong shop, yes. where you don't know what the quality is. Alright. So you use this product to just make sure all the sensitive components inside the engine doesn't get blocked. Right. Yeah. So we are okay with any petrol brand, yeah. right? We do not say only Caltex. No. So Caltex is very nice, lah. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, use Caltex is better, lah, kan? <laughs> <laughs> the Caltex because it, it already has that that the additive inside. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ninety five and ninety seven both also got the additive inside. Yes, it has. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Interesting. So is there anything else that you want to add before I end this video? Oh, okay. Uh, the 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 other thing is that. Um, because uh, if you look at the market, a lot of the fuel treatment yeah. is not from fuel companies. So okay. uh, it's mostly from chemical companies or any other companies that just specialize in the treatment. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> so the, the Caltex product mm -hmm. is, is unique in that sense because it is uh, you don't find any other uh, or when any other fuel companies selling it. Yes. So only Caltex has it for now. It's like sending your car to a mechanic that was an engineer before, <laughs> yeah. so he knows what's going Something on like in your that. car. So, okay. Uh, this is a this is a unique product from Caltex. Yep. And it is proven, and 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 now it is available for uh, any motorist to try. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. So yes, guys, if you're interested to go find um these additives or anything that he mentioned and anything that you would like to try. Please be sure to go to any Caltex petrol stations, they definitely have it there. Or any Havlin Auto Pro workshops, they have it there as well. And I know all of y'all, y'all got your 9.99 .9 September 
all the online type of promotions lah Get Best Buy lah, this lah, that lah, whatever you want It's on Lazada and on Shopee But remember ah, make sure it's an authorised reseller Cause if it's not then nasib lah Honestly, I'm just driving day to day You know I drive my Miata daily So I'm interested to see how much more How much more I can get out of this lah If, if it really works then hey, why not right? Only every 5,000 km right that I have yep. to do it so yeah So yeah, that's all guys If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below Thank you so much Baka for today You're welcome uh, Appreciate it very much Sorry I made you talk so long uh. <laughs> It's okay <laughs> Okay, that's all guys, thanks Bye Okay, bye